uh, using Jamie Pub32 uh, Puppy Linux. When you first click on Rocks Filer, default appearance of the file manager is like this. And I prefer the smaller icon, so just pushing on a minus key will make it a smaller uh, icon. And then I also prefer Control H. Uh, showing the uh, hidden files. So this is uh, the appearance of the rocks file that I like to start with. The folders, and you can see that there's a bold uh, fonts indicate recently active uh, folders or files. And this is uh, very helpful and I don't think that this uh, uh, changing of the uh, font to a bold occur, uh, is a default in any other uh, uh, file managers uh, that I'm aware of and I find it very helpful. To uh, further modify the appearance of the uh, fo uh, ROX filer or ROX is called ROX you can go ahead and right click on the uh, window and go to options here my preference is to leave the rocks file uh, in uh, as it is I certainly want the uh, uh, folders uh, come first rather than just having it all uh, mixed in uh, alphabetically so I, uh, I click it and then a uh, new window I like to have this inherent options uh, from source window it makes it a uh, much cleaner and a consistent appearance for example from the source file and we also want the hidden files to be shown and icon view is fine icon view here although the, it is, the default is large uh, icon I prefer small obviously this is your uh, your choice list view because of the uh, user is a uh, root in uh, Puppy Linux uh, and also it's obvious just by looking at the window you don't really need a uh, folder or file uh, separation and also owner and the group uh, remains the same and root so uh, I just unclick those two tools here appearance of the icons if you want don't want uh, one of the icons all you have to do is for example watch this you just you can just uh, 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 click it uh, on here to make it appear or dis disappear because rocks filer is originally geared uh, toward mouse use um, for me, I prefer a uh, keyboard-driven uh, uh, Rox filer or Puppy Linux in general. Uh, I find it much m uh, quicker uh, to be a keyboard. So for me, I, ha I prefer there's no toolbars at all. It's much easier for the uh, icons that you may want to put to line and uh, be uh, aligned with other icons if you put in course with uh, easy copying and uh, uh, moving of the uh, files and folders and under drag and drop uh, for me you are XVT here uh, is uh, what I prefer under menace uh, again, you are XVT. On a right click on a rocks window, we have ops, uh, for example, options. And be nice to have a keyboard shortcut here. Furthermore, on display, uh, uh, save current display settings is going to be very handy if we can go ahead and con uh, save this as a control uh, D and under windows uh, close windows is uh, mapped to control Q but I wanna map this to F4 
which I use to uh, close any application in Puppy Linux. In addition to that, we need to uh, uh, d uh, delete a terminal here F4 because I want to uh, be uh, using F4 uh, for uh, closing of the application. To be able to set up this part of a keyboard uh, shortcuts, we need uh, there are two steps that's necessary. One is to go ahead and modify GTKRC. Uh, this file here in Genie, we'll just open it up in Genie, right click and Genie. So we need to uh, modify this uh, and we'll leave this uh, on the left side for now. You can get that information from Options and Menus, Set Keyboard Shortcuts. So we can go ahead and add this line, copy this line, drag uh, with a mouse c mouse, and then uh, copy, and then we can simply put it here. And we can go ahead and add a description uh, because this uh, is a shortcut for rocks. Filer. So we'll go ahead and save that. So that's the line we need. So that's the first step. Second step uh, we will need is to go ahead and modify under config dot config. Here's a rocks configuration file here. And then within the rocks filer now, what we need to do is open up Menace 2 with a genie. Right click and genie. Here's the Menace file that we're working uh, at this time. And uh, I've also uh, uh, loaded up the Menace file that uh, to my preference, which I prefer with all the right uh, correct uh, keyboard shortcuts. So. We can go ahead and take a look, brief look, and under uh, closed windows, for example, that's been activated by removing the semicolon and uh, changing it to F4, and also options uh, is primary and O, that refers to control key is the primary in addition with O. We'll go to uh, display current uh, display save current display settings prime uh, is control D and that's been activated. So in addition grave key here is the key right below the escape key uh, and that grave key uh, will activate terminal. So that's been activated. So these changes are uh, my own uh, preference and I'll simply just copy that over to the present menace and we'll control A again and control V to copy all, uh, all and then close and then uh, reboot. And you can see that Options ha now has uh, the shortcut that's d displayed similarly under Display. Now I have Control D, which I, uh, is the key that I wanted. And also under uh, Windows, you can see to close the window now is F4. And Terminal here is a grave key. So for example, if I want to just open up let's start for example here and I want to open up a terminal all I have to do is just uh, uh, touch the grave key and then here is the uh, uh, URXVT opening up in that uh, folder and let me bring up a, uh, a terminal and then we have a rocks file, uh, file of one's going to open up in a root uh, directory. 
and another one in a my data partition of the hard drive so we can go ahead and enter so right now uh, it'd be nice to have a this uh, uh, rocks file open up left upper quad uh, right upper quadrant and this one partition here so we can move and copy in between the two and we can go ahead and illustrate this I can go ahead and move this down to left lower quadrant for example here and then we'll go ahead and enter and control D to bring up say display setting which we uh, assigned on the previous keyboard shortcuts and then ALTO I want to remember the position of this window here so we can go ahead and uh, OK and then w let's see assign con with the control and number four we can go ahead and uh, enter control number four so that's done so this uh, position of this uh, uh, window has been mem memorized likewise let me just go ahead and move this over to right upper uh, side and and then enter and control D again so that's going to memorize the position of the window and ALTO and then this one we will assign control 1 okay now uh, what so this is active now what happens if I just touch number four it will uh, overwrite this window here watch so there's actually two windows there and then likewise I want to go back to position one and it's here so that's how you can uh, memorize the position of different uh, a partition and folder of rocks filer. And there should be three different uh, partitions opening. So here is the uh, uh, when you is the root download folder. Not I haven't downloaded anything, so it's, it's there. So let's move it over here, roughly over over here and we'll go ahead and enter and we'll say um, control D again and ALTO and now I'm going to assign control 2 okay so and then we're going to close all together and now I'm going to tr trigger the small script opening up three uh, rocks filer and you can see now it's open uh, up here so this is how you can specify uh, where the rocks filer opens and you can simulate dual panel or in this case triple panel uh, file management uh, uh, function.